this is an absolutely beautiful night. The sign for Vernon says, play with the best, fall like the rest. That's what these South Lake Carroll Dragons want to do to these Vernon Lions tonight. This is the Region 1 semifinals. Those Dragons are back there. They're ready to go. And here come the South Lake Carroll Dragons of 1992. We're here at the Carroll Dragons playoff from home, Pennington Field in Bedford, a beautiful, clear, crisp autumn night, no breeze, temperature in the 40s, might get into the 30s by the end of the game, but it's just beautiful tonight. The captains for the Vernon Lions, number 63, Emery Byers, number 46, Ty Brents, number 21, Benny Cherry, and number 12, T.J. Smith. Carol Dragons, it'll be number 20, Will Mantu, number 24, Stephen Moreland, number 84, Mark Heron, and number 41, Jeff Croy. Our officials for tonight's game, the referee, Mike Newell, the head linesman, Steve Stone, the umpires, T.R. Taylor, the line judge, Pete Mejia, and the back judge, Larry Weeks. Referee Mike Newell explaining some instructions to both teams. Introductions are going on down there at midfield. Henry Byers for Vernon will be calling the toss in the air as Vernon is, is the visiting team. What did he say? Said tails, and it's his. The Dragons have won the top. <laughs> the Carroll Dragons will be receiving the kickoff, and Vernon will be defending the West goal. We'll have our national anthem and then we're going to have this football game underway in just a moment the dragons won the toss they will receive they're at the east goal in the middle at the five yard line number 10 dane johnson the junior halfback to the far side number 17 brian nymphius to the near side number 23 curtis pension kicking off for the burning lions the senior, number 30, Dexter Butler. There's the whistle, the kick is in the air. It's a high spinning kick, taken by Pinson at about the 11, up the right sideline, looking for some room. Hit and knocked down at about the 32 yard line. There may have been a fumble, but South Lake does have the football. So the ball will be spotted at about the 27 yard line, first and 10 for South Lake Carroll. Spot the ball just over the Carroll 26 yard line, first and 10. Dragons come to the line of scrimmage, break the wishbone on first and 10, wing right. Toss to number 10, Dane Johnson. He's got some room. He's at the 50. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. South Lake scores on the first play. South Lake scores. Oh, my goodness. The Dragons score on the first play from scrimmage. Johnson goes 73 yards on a smash six. Down smash six. The Dragons take it. Student body right, Johnson breaks through, he goes 73 yards, the Dragons are on the scoreboard. Number five, Bratcher on to do the holding. Number 12, Mike Waller, the kicker. There's the snap, the kick, it's up. They say it's off of the left and no good. So the Dragons lead by a score of six to nothing over the Vernon Lions. The Dragons go one play, 73 yards for a touchdown. Now kicking off, number 12, Mike Lawler. In the middle, number 30, Dexter Butler. To the far side, number 14, the junior, Michael Lee. And to the near side, a junior, number 40, Willie Cherry. 
There's the whistle. Lawler approaches, kicks it high end over end. It's going to be taken by Cherry at about the 22, looking for some room, and knocked down and goes nowhere. So he's knocked down at about the 23, an ankle tackle by one of the Dragons, perhaps number 54, John Fox, and number five, Scott Bratcher. First and 10 for Terrell. Excuse me. Number 23 makes that tackle, Curtis Pinson. First and 10 for the Vernon Lions. Spot the ball at the Vernon 24 yard line, first and 10. Offset eye formation, wing right. In motion, number 21, Cherry. Here's a handoff to number 30, looking for some room. The Dragons are there, knocking down after a three or four yard game. Hit by number 86, Jeff Croy, and excuse me, Jeff Edgington, and number 10, Dane Johnson. A gain of three on the play, make it second and seven for Vernon. Receivers split to the left, offset eye. Hand off to 30 again, looking for some room. Breaks one tackle, the Dragons are there. And tackling after a big game though, out over the 40 to about the 42 yard line. First and 10 for the Vernon Lions. Spotted at the 43, first and 10, number 21, Cherry, flanker to the right. Back goes number 18, looking, looking, throwing down the field, and in and out of the hands of number 82, David Couch, incomplete. That'll set up second and 10 for Vernon. Receivers to the right, number 80, Francisco Cardenas. In motion, number 82, David Couch. Hand off to 40, Cherry. Slipped one tackler and then hit and knocked down at about the 49-yard line. Maybe a gain of one. Hit by number 30, Chad Boller. So that'll set up third down and long now for Vernon. Spot the ball just at just over the Vernon 49-yard line. Third down and nine for the Lions. Big play now. The Dragons would like to stop them right here. Offset eye. Go right. Number 11, Mark L. Allen to the right. Rolling, rolling, looking downfield and complete. Dragons driving out of bounds. Hit by number 41, Jeff Croy. Depends on the spot. It should be short of the first down by about a yard. Fourth and about one now for the Vernon Lions. And it appears that they will go for it on fourth and short. Spot the ball at the Dragon 48 yard line. punt they're not going to go for it there's the snap number 30 boots it away taken by Voller at about the 10 looking for some room still looking and knocked down at about the 15 yard line hit by number 53 for the Vernon Lions Emery Byers let's make that excuse me Chris Vasquez so Carroll has the football first and 10 at their own 15 yard line there is a flag on the play Number five, Bratcher, wide to the left. Number nine, Holyfield, wide to the left. In motion, number 38, Brent Bonzak. Hand off to number 40, Mark Barley. He's got some room. He's up over the 30 and up over. And now there's a lot of hitting down there, but no flag. He's up over the 35 to about the 38-yard line. 
A big game for the South Lake Carroll Dragons. So that ball goes from the 15 out to the 37. That's a 22-yard gain for the South Lake Carroll Dragons on first and 10. Now we've got a whistle as the officials have a little conference. Stopped with 9:21. Carroll up by a score of six to nothing over Vernon. Double wing setup. Ace back in the backfield is Mark Byerly. Back goes Mantooth to pass. Looking downfield, throwing, throwing, but throws it away long. Mantooth pass intended. A little miscommunication out there to number five Scott Bratcher between he and Mantooth. So that'll set up second and ten on the incomplete pass by South Lake Carroll. Wing right, toss to number 24, Stephen Moreland, looking for some room, still on his feet, up over the 40 to about the 44-yard line. A gain of about seven on the play. That'll set up third down and about, well, let's make it a gain of six and make it third and a short four now for the Carroll Dragon. Wishbone set. Hand off to 40 Byerly. Trying to get up and he's close. Pushed down by number 54, Dietrich Morris. He'll be close to the first down, I think. Depends on the spot. Will be a little short, I think. Now there's a whistle. Time resumes. Carroll comes to the line of scrimmage. And off the 40 by, well, he's there and should have the first down. Should be more than enough push for the first down. Carroll will have a first down. So the Dragons just push it forward for about a yard and come up with a first, first and 10, a fresh set of, set of downs. Spot the ball at the Carroll 49-yard line. 8.04 to play here in the first quarter. Wishbone set now on first and 10. Now here's a flag whistle. Illegal procedure will be the call against Carroll. Double wing formation. In motion number 24, Moreland to the right. Back goes man two, throws, throws, and thrown out of bounds. Intended for number 38, Brent Bonzak, but no place for it to go. Moreland just, uh, man two, excuse me, just throws that one away. That'll set up second and 15 for Carroll. the wishbone. Put Johnson in a slot to the right in motion number 17. Brian Nymphius to the left. Back goes Mantu throwing downfield and I believe maybe intercepted by number 15 for the Vernon Lions. That would be Jared Hudson. He goes up high and intercepts and Vernon will have the football. First and 10 for the Vernon Lions. Offset eye in motion number 40, Willie Cherry. Back goes. In low, a handoff to number 30, Dexter Butler, and no place to go. He's wrapped up short of the line of scrimmage, I believe. So a loss of a yard on the play, and that'll set up second and 11 for Vernon. Down 
damage comes to Vernon Lyons. Trips to the left here on second and 11. Back goes number 18 in low, looking downfield, throwing long. Number 80 is wide open, and he drops the football. Number 80 was wide open at the 20. No dragging around him. It would have been an easy touchdown, but Francisco Cardenas drops the football. The Carroll Dragons get a huge break on that play. Come up with a lucky break on that drop. Sure, touchdown pass. Back goes in low again, being rushed, being rushed, and he's going to be hit and dropped for a loss back inside the 30, hit by number 24, Stephen Moreland, and that'll set up fourth down and long for the Vernon Lions. Fourth and 16, back goes number 30, Dexter Butler, back to receive the kick, number 30, Chad Baller, and number 10, Dane Johnson. There's the snap, the Dragons come after it, he's running, still on his feet, and he drops the football, and he's going to be trapped for a loss, the Dragons will have the football. So Butler can't get it away, the Dragons come in, make him, make him run with it, Carroll has an excellent chance, the ball will be at the Vernon 26 yard line, first and 10 for Carroll. So the Dragons come up with a huge break on the drop to pass at the 20. They come up with another huge break here, stopping Butler so that he can't punt. The Dragons need to take advantage. Wing right, break the wishbone. Inside handoff to 38, Brent Bonzac, looking for some room, but he's hit hard by number 46, Ty Brent. Brent's the linebacker, six, six feet, 200 pounds. He comes in and hits Bonzac hard on the counter play. The Vernon Lions were ready for that one. A gain of one on the play. Make it second and nine for Carroll. Number nine, Holyfield to the right. Number five, Bratcher in the slot to the right. Wishbone set. New formation, option play to the right. Keeper by Mantooth, he's got some room. He's still on his feet, he's gonna score! The Dragons get away! He scores! The Vernon Lions can't believe it! They can't believe it! The Dragons put it in for a touchdown. Will Mantooth is hit. He looks like he's gonna go down, but he refuses to go down. And the Dragons put up another touchdown with 5.22 to play in the first quarter. It looks like the Dragons will probably go for two points. We'll wait and see. They missed the first extra point. They'd like to get it back to 14 here. They are setting up in the wishbone. Two tight ends, now they break it. Wing left. Option play, handoff to 40 Byerly. He's gonna be close, but I don't think he made it. He's there close, but doesn't get it in. So the score remains 12 to nothing over the Vernon Lions, 5-22 to play in the first quarter. Second touchdown on his number 12, Mike Lawler, back to receive the kick, number 30, Butler, number 14, Mike Lee, number 40, Willie Cherry. There's the kick, it's a high end over end kick. It'll be taken by Cherry at about the 24, trying to get to the outside, still out there. And the Dragons are there, and they've got him down about around the 34-yard line. Hit by number 23, Curtis Pinson, and number 80 for the Dragons. That would be Joel Turner. Line of scrimmage, number 11, Mark Allen, wide to the left. Go right. And off the 30, Butler looking for some room, and he's stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Hit by number 60, Joel Holmes. And number 73, Brandon Story. Perhaps a half yard gain. That'll set up second and nine for Vernon. Twin receivers to the left. Benny Cherry in the slot to the left. Hand off to 40. No, a pass out to number 30. He's got all kinds of room out there trying to get to the outside. The Dragons are there and drag him down. But a good, big game by the Vernon Lions as they swung the ball out to the left side. And Vernon had a blocker out there. Good play by the Vernon Lions. 
Mark Allen wide to the left. Number 82, David Couch on a wing to the right. And off to 30, Butler trying to get to the outside. Slips off his feet. The Dragons are there. Tackled by number 41, Jeff Croy, but another big run by that's Dexter Butler. Gain of about seven yards on the play. It'll set up second and a short three now for the Vernon Lions. Spot the ball inside Dragon territory at the 46-yard line. Number 11, Mark Allen, wide to the left. Many cherry in the slot out there. Offset eye. Chris Enlow, the quarterback. Back he goes to throw. Throwing long. Throwing long. No chance for the receiver. Chad Ballers back there. So it falls incomplete, and that'll set up third and three now for the Vernon Lions. They figured they had a down to waste with, with Second down and short. Now they've got to concentrate on getting the first down with third and a short three. Ball at the Carroll 46-yard line. McAllen wide to the left. Wing right. In motion number 80. Hand off to 30, but Butler still on his feet. The Dragons are there, knock him down, but the Lions will have a first down. Knocked down by number eight, Craig Frost, and number 41, Jeff Croy. So a couple of times now, the Vernon Lions have taken motion to the left and then handed off to Butler going back to the right side. He's found yardage over the right tackle spot and picked up a has picked up good yardage for the Vernon Lions first and ten at the Dragon 39 yard line. Number 11 Mark Allen wide to the left in motion goes number 21 Benny Cherry back goes in low looking downfield looking and I believe caught and complete to number 40 Willie Cherry nice pass play by the Vernon Lions Spot the ball down at about the 26-yard line, a first and 10 for the Vernon Lions on a good pass play by the junior quarterback for Vernon, number 18, Chris Enlow. running 240 to play here in the first quarter burning back to the line of scrimmage wing right and that's a first and 10 at the Carroll 26 yard line 236 to play in the first quarter hand off to 30 butlers got got room out there still on his feet gets it down inside the 20 to about the 16 yard line another big game by Vernon by the Vernon Lions hit by number 68 Joseph Stanier so it'll be close to another first down and is a first down. And Vernon is on the move here in the closing minutes of the first quarter. Allen wide to the left, Benny Cherry wide to the right. Hand off to 30, Butler looking for some room, gets to the outside. And he's still on his feet and then pushed out of bounds at about the seven yard line, I think. They had him in the backfield and let him get away, but pushed out at about the seven. It'll be close to another first down though for the Vernon Lions. Butler goes out of bounds where he's stopped by number 30, Chad Fowler for the Dragons. Butler does advance the ball to the South Lake Carroll. Not sure whether it's second and short or whether it's first and goal. It appears to be second and short though. Ball just outside the Carroll six yard line. Wing right. In motion number 21. Benny Cherry hand off to 30 Butler looking for some room. The Dragons are there. They stack him up. Number 60, Joel Holmes. He'll have the first down, but he stopped at about the five yard line. It'll be first and goal for the Vernon Lions. Cherry wide to the right. Number 11, Mark Allen wide to the left. Offset eye. Butler the tailback. Hand off to Butler. Fires into the right guard area. The Dragons stack it up at about the four yard line. Maybe down to the three. Depends on the spot. Butler is met in the middle of the line. 
by number 86, Jeff Hattie. A pickup of about two yards on the play. It'll be second and goal from the three. The Vernon Lions trying to push it in with their big tailback, number 30, Dexter Butler. Option play by number 18, and he's going to score from the right side as the Vernon Lions push it in on the option play to the right. With 52 seconds to play in the first quarter, Vernon is on the scoreboard. On to try the extra point for Vernon will be number 54, Dietrich Morris. The holder number 12, T.J. Smith. The extra point will be number 12. Henry Byers, the deep snapper. There's the snap, the hold, the kick. And it's good. So with 52 seconds to play in the first quarter, the Dragons lead by a score of 12 to 7 over the Vernon Lions. After the Vernon touchdown, number 30, Dexter Butler on the kickoff. Back for the Dragons, number 10, Dane Johnson, number 17, Brian Impius, and number 23, Curtis Pinson. Going to be taken by Pinson again at the 15-yard line. Looking for some room. Got some room out there. Hit and knocked down. Good gain up to about the 35-yard line. Knocked down by number 14, Michael Lee. First and 10 for Carroll. South Lake Carroll now has the ball. Wishbone set now on first and 10. Keeper by number 20, Will Mantooth, and number 54 is right there immediately to stack him up. That's Dietrich Morris, the nose guard. So Mantooth tries to get around, but there is a flag on the play, and I think it will be offsides against the Vernon Lions. In motion number 24, Stephen Moreland to the left. Hand off to 40 Byerly. And there's another flag on the play. Byerly picks up a couple yards. He's hit by number 46, Kai Brinson, number 63, Emery Byers. This flag against the Dragons. So we'll take away the five yards and move it back to probably first and 10. Feel wide to the right. Wing right, Moreland in a slot to the right. Option play to the right, keeper by Mantooth. Looking for some rooms, stacked up and knocked down by number 72, Andre Wilson, after a two or three yard gain around right tackle. And that'll bring the first quarter to a close with the Dragons leading by a score of 12 to seven over the Vernon Run. Carroll will have the ball spotted at their own 38-yard line, second and seven now for South Lake after the man who first down carry a moment ago. Break the wishbone, twin receivers to the left. Back goes man two throwing downfield and throws way high and out of bounds. As man two sails it high out of bounds, intended for number nine, Kirk Holyfield. So on the pass incompletion, it'll set up third and seven now for Carroll. Comes Bratcher wide to the left, number 24, Stephen Moreland wide to the right, break the wishbone. Back goes Mantooth, back, back, and a middle screen taken by number 40, Mark Byerly, looking for some room, but number 72, Andre Wilson, is right there. As he was there ready for that play, Byerly maybe gets a yard. That'll set up fourth down and about five for the Carroll Dragons. So on comes number 88, Derek Sargent. He'll be kicking to number 30, Dexter Butler. There's the snap. Kick is away. Kicking it away from Butler. Bounds and Butler picks it up. Looking for some room and the Dragons are there and dropping after about a three yard return. Hit by number 26, Larry Marquez. Spot the ball at about the 22 yard line. First and 10 for Vernon. Vernon to the line of scrimmage, twin receivers to the left. 
I formation. Hand off to Butler over the left side. Picks up four or five yards. Hit by number 32, Kyle, Kyle Smith. Also number 60, Joel Holmes. A gain of four yards on the play. That'll set up second and six for the Vernon Lions. Back to the line of scrimmage quickly. Number 11, Mark Allen, wide to the left. Cherry and a wing to the right. Hand off to 30, Butler got some room. Dragons are there. He's up over the 37 to about, excuse me, the 35 up to about the 36 yard line. Another big run by Dexter Butler. Identical formation, offset eye. And off to 30, Butler. No, a keeper by number 18, Enloe, looking for some room. Still looking for some room and gets up over the 40 to about the 45-yard line. On a little option play there, the Vernon Lions pick up another big gain, a gain of about eight yards. Let's make it nine on the play. Make it second and one for Vernon. They're taking it to the Dragon defensive line right now. Second and one for the Vernon Lions. Twin receivers to the right, to the left, excuse me. Offset eye, hand off to 30. Butler moving forward, stretching for the first down. Tackle by number 86, Jeff Edgington. Be close to the first down. And it is signaled the first down. Ball up over the Vernon 46 yard line. First and 10 for the Lions. Twin receivers to the left. Number 21, Cherry in a slot out there. Offset eye. Back goes number 18 in low. And the ball was intended for number 40, Willie Cherry, but Dane Johnson was out there. And the ball falls incomplete. So that'll set up second and 10 for the Vernon Lions. And now in low line scrimmage, second and ten. Pro right. Option play tossed to number 40, Willie Cherry trying to turn the corner and tripped up from behind by number 24, Stephen Moreland. A gain of perhaps six yards on the play. Cherry had some room out there, but number 24, Moreland, trips him up from behind. Spot the ball in Dragon territory at the 47-yard line and set up third and four for the Vernon Lions. to the left, offset eye, in low the quarterback, back to pass, complete to number 82, David Couch. I thought I heard a whistle, but nothing that we see from the officials, a complete pass to number 82, David Couch, first and 10 for the Vernon Lions, spot the ball at the Dragon. 41-yard line, first and 10. Vernon on the move again here in the second quarter. Go right. Back. Noah handoff to number... Noah keeper incomplete to number 30, Dexter Butler. He's got some room. Still on his feet. Thought he was pushed out there, but the Vernon Lions take it down the sideline, and he scores. On the little swing pass to the right side, Vernon will take the lead. So the Vernon Lions spake the handoff to number 30, Dexter Butler, then throw it out to Butler. The Dragons were there. They can't push him out, and Butler takes it down the right sideline for a touchdown. And now they're in the lead by a score of 13 to 12 over the Carroll Dragons. It appears that the Vernon Lions are going to go for two. 
Stacked eye in motion, number 30, Butler, looking for some room. There's flags on the play. Ball will be spotted down at the 15-yard line. This is a 25-yard extra point attempt by number 54, Dietrich Morris. There's the snap, the hold, the kick. And it's good. So the Vernon Lions lead by a score of 14 to 12 over the South Lake Carroll Dragons. 7.30. Back deep to receive the kick. Number 10, Dane Johnson. Number 23, Curtis Pinson. Number 17, Brian Nymphius. Kicking off Butler. High end over end kick. Spinning, spinning. Bounces taken by number 23, Curtis Pinson. And he's buried at about the 23 yard line. 50, 50. Hit by number 56, Josh Drennan in on the tackle. First and 10 for Carroll. Dragon timeout. It'll be first and 10. The ball at the Carroll 24 yard line. Wing right. Break the wishbone on first and 10 in motion. Number 38, Brent Bonzak to the left. Back goes. Number 20 to pass, intended for number 84, Mark Heron, but throws it behind him and incomplete. That'll set up second and 10 for the Carroll Dragons. Wing right in the slot over there is number 38, Brent Bonzak. Hand off to number 40, Byerly tries to take it up the middle. He stopped at the line of scrimmage, and that'll set up second, and let's make it third and ten for the Carroll Dragons. No place for Byerly to go. Third and ten now for Carroll. Break the wishbone. Ratchet to the right, to the left. Back goes Mantooth to pass. Looking downfield, throwing, throwing, and way high. Intended for number five, Scott Bratcher. Not catchable, out of bounds. That'll set up fourth and ten for the Carroll Dragons. Here's the snap. Burling comes after it. Ball gets out of there. And they may have roughed the kicker. Probably roughing the kicker will be the call against the Vernon Lions. But I believe it's only running running into the kicker. So it's still fourth down, fourth and ten, and Derek Sargent will be punting again. So put the ball back at the 24, and Sargent will be kicking again. Vernon came after that last kick, almost got to it, ran into Sargent. He did get it away, however. Here's the snap, good. Sargent kicks it away from Butler, bounces, bounces. Ball comes inside the 30, still rolling, still rolling, still rolling. Still rolling, and the Dragons will kill it at about the 25-yard line. A good kick by Derek Sargent. To the line of scrimmage come the Vernon Lions. Offset eye, wing right. Mark Allen wide to the left. In low at quarterback. In motion, number 21, Benny Cherry. Hand off to number 30, Butler. Looking for some room out there. Again, big yardage over the right side. Hit by number 60, Joel Holmes, but another big gain by the Vernon Lions and their big tailback, number 30, Dexter Butler. A gain of eight, nine on the play. Second and one. Wing left, number 11, Mark Allen, wide to the right. Offset eye. Hand off to number 40, Willie Cherry. He tries the middle. The Dragons are there. Stack it up. Hit by number 68, Joseph Stanyard. It'll be close to a first down, but make it third and about one. Ball at the line, 34-yard line. 
5-18 to play here in the first half. Dragons need to stiffen and hold right here on third and one. Allen wide to the left. Cherry in a wing to the right. Offset eye. Here comes the toss to number 30. Tries and he pushes forward. And on that push will get the first down. He was hit by number 32, Kyle Smith. But the Dragons can't stop him. And Vernon comes up with a first down. Spot the ball out over the 37-yard line to the 38. First and 10 for Vernon. 4.50 to play here in the first half. Wing left. Allen to the, to the right. Back goes in low, throwing over the middle. Complete to number 21, Willie Cherry, Benny Cherry. He's wide open and in low gets there. And now one of the Dragons is shaken up on the carpet, number 60, Joel Holmes. A big pass play by the Vernon Lions. The ball at the Dragon, 39-yard line, first and 10. 4-10 to play here in the first half. Vernon on the move, leading by a score of 14 to 12. Back goes, Enlow, looking downfield, throwing, 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 throwing. Oh, oh. And complete to number 21, Benny Cherry. He turned around, Craig Frost, and Enlow completes the pass down inside the 10 to the six yard line. First and goal for the Vernon Lions. So Benny Cherry was out there with single coverage by the Dragons, and he curls in and gets the pass, and Craig Frost tackles him, but the ball will be first and goal now for the Vernon Lions inside the six-yard line. Power eye. In low the quarterback, toss to number 30. Dexter Butler cuts back, and I believe he will score inside the six. So with 3.43 to play, the Vernon Lions get it in for another touchdown. And this has been a horrible second quarter for the South Lake Carroll Dragons. Vernon out to a 20 to 12 lead now. The extra point to follow. Going to try that extra point, number 54, Dietrich Morris. Number 12, T.J. Smith, the holder. Here's the snap, the hole, kick is up, and it's good. And Vernon leads by a score of 21 to 12 over the Carroll Dragons. Three four, picking off number 30, Dexter Butler, back for the Dragons. Number 10, Jane Johnson, 23, Pinson. Number 17, Brian Nymphius. This one goes out of bounds. This will be a five yard penalty. Dragons up around the 20. There's the kick away, it'll be a boot. And this one will go out of bounds again. That'll be ready to kick it off for the third time. And it's away. It'll be a kick taken by Pinson at the 30. This time he's coming back to the other side. The Dragons have got some room over there. Then hit a knockdown by number 30, Dexter Butler. But a good return up to the 35-yard line. First and 10 for Carroll. So first and 10 now for the Dragons, 335 to play in the first half. Dragons need to try to get something going here offensively in the closing minutes of this first half, trailing now 21 to 12. Break the wishbone in motion number 38, Brent Bonzak to the left. Hand off to 40, Byerly. Got some room, got some room, still on his feet, got some room. Still on his feet, still on his feet, and then pushed out at about the Vernon 46-yard line. Good run by number 40, Mark Byerly, on the fullback carry. First and 10 for the Dragons. Looked like Byerly would be stopped for no gain, but he just kept churning and churning and got into Vernon territory at the 46-yard line. 19-yard pickup on that play. First and 10, 322 to play here in the first half. Double wing 
formation. Holyfield wide to the right. Back goes Mantooth, rolling to his right, looking downfield, and complete to number 10, and he fumbles the football. Still on the ground, I think the Dragons will recover. The Dragons have recovered. I believe it will be a first, excuse me, a pass completion. Gain of about eight as Dane Johnson was hit hard. He fumbled the football, but the Dragons do come up with it. A gain of about eight on the play. And that'll set up second and two for the Dragons. Dragons back to the line of scrimmage. Option play to the right. Toss to number 10, Johnson. Got some room out there, still on his feet and then pushed out after a first down carry for the Dragons, hit by number 46, Ty Brent. But enough yardage by the junior halfback for a Dragon first down, pushed out of bounds, first and 10 for Carroll, 243 to play in the first half. And off the 40, Byerly got some room out there, then hit hard, knocked down by number 21, Barry, Benny Cherry. But Byerly picks up some yardage over the left side. Pick up a five on the play, second and five for the Dragons. Clock running, 2.11 to play here in the first half. Wishbone set. Option play to the left, keeper by number 20, Mantooth. Spins his way inside the 25 to about the 23 yard line. Clock running, 155 to play in the first half. It will be third and about two now for the Dragons. No huddle offense, Dragons back to the line of scrimmage quickly. Break the wishbone on third and short. Back goes Mantooth, rolling, rolling, looking downfield, and in and out of the hands of number 38, Brent Bonzac. That'll stop the clock with 1.34 to play here in the first half, but more importantly, it'll set up fourth and about two for Carroll. the wishbone, fourth and two, toss to number 10, Dane Johnson, and he'll have the first down for the Dragons, I believe, depending on the spot. First and 10 for the Dragons, spot the ball at the 20-yard line, that is a penetration for the Carroll Dragons. One twenty-eight to play in the half. The Dragons are trying to beat the clock and beat this burning defense to get in the end zone. Double wing formation. Back goes Mantooth, looking downfield, looking downfield, and it'll be complete to Scott Fletcher. Touchdown! Touchdown for the Dragons with 1.17 to play in the first half. The Dragons come back with a touchdown. A great pass by Will Mantooth to number five, Scott Bratcher and he gets it in the end zone for a Dragon touchdown. Now the score, 21 for the Lions, 18 for Carroll. Now we'll see whether the, the Dragons go for a two or one, and it looks like another attempt at a two-point play by the Carroll Dragons. Trip receivers to the right, in motion. Keeper by number 20, Mantooth, and I don't believe he'll get in. He'll be stopped short of the end zone on the two-point try. So the score remains, the Vernon Lions 21, the Carroll Dragons 18. After the Carroll Dragon touchdown, 117 to play in the first half, Mike Waller ready to kick off. Back is number 30, Butler, standing at about his own 15 yard line. There's the kick, it's away. High spinning kick taken by number 21, no 14, Mike Lee. 
comes into the middle, still on his feet. There the Dragons have him, and they'll push him down at about the 24-yard line. Stopped by number nine, Kirk Holyfield. So it'll be first and 10 now for the Vernon Lions. 1-10 to play in the half. The object now is for the Carroll Dragons to make sure they do not let the Vernon Lions score here because the Dragons have taken back a little of the momentum they had lost earlier in the second quarter as Vernon had just come on with a huge offensive onslaught. Wing right. Offset eye. Toss to number 30, Dexter Butler, trying to get out there, but the Dragons are there. No place to go. Number 84, Mark Heron, is out there to drop him for a loss. No gain on the play. That'll set up second and 10 now for the Vernon Lions. Clock running, 50 seconds to play in the half. Mark Allen wide to the left, wing right, offset eye, hand off to 30, Butler still on his feet, the Dragons are there, they stack him up, and this time they push him back as the Dragons are all over him. A gain of maybe three on the play, but Butler wasn't going anywhere, that'll be the last play of the first half. We're going to go to the locker room with the Vernon Lions leading by a score of 21 to 18 over the South Lake Carroll Dragons. South Lake Carroll Dragons out for the second half. Where the King of the Jungle says that sign, the Dragons are going to have to prove it here in the second half, trailing the Vernon Lions by a score of 21 to 18. Some first half statistics for the Dragons, 175 yards on the ground, 30 yards through the air, total of 205 yards, total offense for the Vernon Lions, 107 yards on the ground, but 140 yards through the air for their quarterback, Chris Enlow, 247 yards total offense. Penetrations are tied, but the Vernon Lions are ahead on the scoreboard by virtue of the fact they've made their three extra points and the Dragons have missed all of theirs, the score 21 to 18. Vernon has the option here in the second half. They have elected to receive. The Dragons will defend the East goal. And we'll have the action here in the second half underway in just a moment. Off, number 12, Mike Lawler. Back is number 30, Butler, standing at about his 18-yard line. To the far side, number 14, Mike Lee. To the near side, number 40, Willie Cherry. There's the signal by the referee, Mike Mule. Lawler approaches the ball, kicks it away. It's a high kick, and this one goes back to Butler at about the five or six-yard line, trying to get up the middle, looking for some room. Dragons are there and dragging down, but a good return out over the 30 to about the 33-yard line. First and 10 for the Burning Lions. Number nine, Kurt Holyfield in on the tackle. First and 10 for Vernon. The Dragons need to come up with a big defensive play right now. They can't afford to let the Vernon Lions get any more points. Toss to number 30, Butler. Over the right side, still out there on his feet, tripped up by an angle tackle by number 24, Stephen Moreland. But once again, Vernon pitches and goes to the right side, and they're getting some yardage on that right side. Big yardage. Power I formation. Tight formation, power I right. Keeper by Enlow as he just smashes it into the middle. He's up to about the 45-yard line. Middle of the Dragon defense stops him, but Vernon does get a first down. First and 10, the ball just up over the 45-yard line. Enlow does pick up the 
first down for Vernon. Butler, the big tailback. Pro left. Cherry wide to the left. Tossed to number 30, Butler, looking for some room out there. Hit by the Dragon, still on his feet. Rolls up to about the 50-yard line. A gain of about four yards on the play. Make it five as he's up over the 50 in the Dragon territory at the 49-yard line. Second and five for Vernon. Kyle Smith is in on the tackle. Butler, gain of about five. Now just trying to run it out, trying to get a touchdown here as the third quarter opens. In motion number 40, Cherry tossed to number 30. He's going to throw downfield, looking, 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 still looking. Now he's going to run. The Dragons are out there, and he fumbles the football, knocks it out of bounds. He's close to a first down, but I think he's knocked out before he can get to the first down sticks. Depends on where they mark it. It'll be at about the Dragon 46-yard line. Now it'll be third down and make it one for Vernon. Looks like Butler was going to throw the halfback pass, but the Dragons had it covered. Then Butler tried to run. The Dragons came up and stopped him short of the first down. Number 80, Francisco Cardenas, wide to the right. In a pro right formation. A toss to 30, Butler, looking for some room. He ducks inside the defensive end and has a first down ball down to the 40-yard line. First and 10 for the Vernon Lions. They're on the move here as the third quarter starts. First down and 10 for Vernon. 21 Cherry wide to the right. Mark Allen wide to the left. Offset eye formation. Option play to the right side. Keeper by number 18, Chris Enlow. He's got some speed and he has another 10 yards. Number eight, Craig Frost on the tackle, but the junior quarterback picks up good yardage around the right end. Close to a first down. Spot the ball at the 31-yard line and make it second and about six inches for a first down. Throw right. Back goes in low. Looking downfield. Throws downfield. And in and out of the hands of number 21, Benny Cherry, as Enlow tries to get it down to Cherry at the five-yard line. The Dragons are back there. Number 41, Jeff Croy, and number 10, Dane Johnson. That'll set up third and six inches as Vernon knew they had a down to waste on second and inches. Wide for the end zone. Now they'll go for the first down. Ball spotted at the Dragon 31-yard line. is wide to the right. He's the flanker over there. Mark Allen to the wide side of the field. Toss to 30. Cherry. This time the Dragons are there and they wrap him up. As the Dragons stop him, they may have him short of the first down. Depends on the spot. Hit by number 60, Joel Holmes. Depends on the spot. I think it will be fourth down for the Vernon Lions. Fourth and about that same six inches. So the Dragons now need to come up with a defensive play. Fourth and six inches. The ball at the Dragon, 31 yard line. Wing right. And now is the ball at the Dragon, 31 yard line. Carroll needs to try to stop him, but it's going to be difficult with just fourth and inches. Long count by Vernon. Still a long count. Hand off to 30. I think the Dragon stopped him. Number 73, Brandon Story is in there, and Butler doesn't get it. The Dragon stop him. The ball will go on down, over on downs to the Carroll Dragons. They do it. They stop him. 
Southlake has the football. So Butler can't get the first down. The Dragons do it. And now Carroll has the football. The Dragons stop them three down at the 31 yard line and take over first and 10. Break the wishbone on first and 10. Wing right. Holyfield wide to the right. Option play, toss to number 10, Johnson. He's got some room out there. Slips one, gets inside over the 30, up to about the 37-yard line. Number 21, Benny Cherry out there to make the tackle, and now he's going to be slow getting up. A gain of about six yards on the play. Make it second and four for Carroll. 7.50 to play here in the third quarter. Number nine, Holyfield, wide to the right, short side of the field, wing right again. In motion, number 38, handoff to Byerly. He tries the left side. So there is a flag on the play. A half minutes to play in the third quarter. The Dragons trail by a score of 21 to 18 to the Vernon line. Number five, Bratcher, wide to the left. Number nine, Kirk Holyfield, wide to the right. Trip receivers to the left side for the Dragons. Ace back in the backfield is Byerly. Hand off to 40, Byerly. No place to go as the Vernon Lions are right there. Coming up, number 54, Dietrich Morris, right there to take him down. So the draw play doesn't work. Vernon Lions are there for the tackle. Loss of two on the play. That'll set up second and 12 for Carroll. Break the wishbone. Wing right. Toss to number 10, Dane Johnson. Up over right guard. There is a flag on the play. The Vernon Lions are there. Hit by number 52 for the Vernon Lions. That'll be Mark Rutherford. Another flag on the play. Two-yard line. Trip receivers to the left. In motion, number 10, Dane Johnson. Back to the right side. Back goes Mantooth to pass. Toss out to number 84, Mark Heron, looking for some room and gets away from one and then knocked out of bounds by number 80, Francisco Cardenas as the tight end pass was completed to Mark Heron. Little screen to the right side, but not nearly enough yardage for a first down. The Dragons will have to punt it away. The ball spotted at their own 40-yard line. Number 88, Derek Sargent on to punt. Back is number 30, Dexter Butler. Here's the snap. Kick is away, high kick. It's going to bound, bound. And the ball will be killed inside the 20 at about the 17 or 18 yard line where it will be first and 10 for the Vernon Lions. Got the ball at the 18, 5.57 to play in the third quarter and Vernon takes over. Throw right. Hand off to Butler, 30, looking for some room. The Dragons are there. They're going to stop him after maybe a yard gain. The Dragons come up. Hit by number 32, Kyle Smith. He's a load to take down, but the Dragons get him down after a yard gain. That'll set up second and nine for Vernon. Motion number 88, Francisco Cardenas, back to pass goes. 
Linlow throwing downfield. This one oh, no. is complete to number 80, Cardenas, as number 41, Jeff Croy, came up. But Cardenas makes the catch. Troy came up to try to intercept or knock it down, but the ball goes over his hands, and it's complete to number 80, Francisco Cardenas. But there is a flag on the play, and it'll be a penalty against Vernon, and that'll wipe out the big game. Get the ball back inside the 15-yard line. Twin receivers to the right. Actually trips to the right here on second and long. Back goes in low, running, 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 looking downfield. And intended for number 21, Benny Cherry, but right with him is number 10, Dane Johnson. And that one goes long and incomplete. Cherry can't get there. That'll set up third, third and 15. The ball at the Lion, 14 and a half yard line. So Carroll has them in third and long now, the position they want them in. Now the Dragon defense has to respond and keep Vernon from getting the ball out of here. Third and 15, it'll be a pass play, perhaps a draw play. Then receivers to the right, part of Cardenas in a slot out there. Back goes in low, looking, 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 throwing downfield. This one will be in and out of the hands of number 40, Willie Cherry, number 10, Dane Johnson, there on the defense. The Dragons stop him. It'll be fourth down for the Vernon line. That ball intended for number 40, Willie Cherry, but Dane Johnson is right there to break, break it up at midfield, and now it'll be fourth down for the Vernon line. Kicking from about his own one yard line. Back to receive the kick, number 30, Chad Baller. There's the snap. Butler gets it away. It's going to be a kick that bounces, bounces. And the Dragons will have the football. Wasn't touched by Dane Johnson. It'll be first and 10 for Carroll. So spot the ball at the 48-yard line for Terrell, first and 10 for the Dragons. Dragons 52 yards away from a go-ahead touchdown. Dragons have to get it in gear with 440 to play here in the third quarter. Double wing formation. Man to the quarterback. In motion, number 24, Stephen Moreland. Toss to Moreland. Looking for some room out there. No place to go. Still on his feet. Now he's stacked up and dropped for a big loss as the Vernon Lions are just all over him right now. No place for Moreland to go as the Vernon Lions are there and they drop him for a big loss. Back inside the 40 at the 36 yard line. Now it'll be second and a bunch for the Dragons. Make it about second and 23. In motion number 24, Moreland to the right. Back goes Mantooth, looking downfield, throwing, throwing. And batted up in the air, intended for number five, Scott Bratcher, but a good defense by the Vernon Lions by number 80, Francisco Cardenas. And that'll set up third and long now for the Dragons, third and 21, the ball at the 36-yard line. Double wing set again. Back goes Mantu, throwing downfield, and intended for number nine, Kirk Holyfield, but the ball too long and incomplete. So that'll set up fourth down for the Dragons, fourth and 21 from their own 36 yard line. Incomplete pass now brings up 
Back to punt, number 88, Derek Sargent. Here's the snap. Kick is away. Kick will go away from Butler inside the 20. Nice punt. And it'll roll dead again at the Vernon 18-yard line. First and 10 for the Lions once again. So this is about the same point that Vernon had it just a few moments ago. First and 10, 3.33 to play in the third quarter. Lions still lead by a score of 21 to 18 over the Carroll Dragons. Wing right, offset eye, number 11, Mark Allen, wide to the left. In motion, number 80, Cardenas. And off to 30, Butler looking for some room. Dragons are there. They stack him up after a gain of three yards. Hit by number eight, Craig Frost. A gain of three on the play, second and seven for the Vernon Lions. Clock running, 314 to play in the quarter. to Butler once again, trying to get to the outside, looking for some room, the Dragons are there, they're gonna stack him up this time. They stop him after maybe two yards. Spotted at just inside the Vernon 23 yard line, that'll set up third and five now for the Lions. Clock running, two and a half minutes to play in the third quarter. Another big play for the Dragon defense as they need to try to stop this burning running attack. Cardenas, flanker wide to the right. Allen wide to the left. Then low option toss to number 30, Butler trying to get out there. This time the Dragons are there. He's not going to make it. Number 41, Jeff Coy, number eight, Craig Frost. They're out there. The Burning Lions have dropped for a big loss. That'll set up fourth down. Spot the ball at the 15, 16 yard line. And Burning will have to punt. Fourth and 12 now for Vernon. Back goes Butler to punt. There's the snap. Dragons come after it. They may have blocked that one partially, and it'll go out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. That's where the Dragons will have it, first and 10. One twenty-seven to play in the third quarter. The Dragons have good field position. They've got to take advantage now. set now for the Dragons on first and ten. Two tight ends. Dragons hand it off to Ben Bonzac. He's on his way. He's at the 20, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Dragons. No flag. The Dragons get it in for a touchdown. 39 yards on the first play from scrimmage after the poor punt by Vernon and the Dragons retake the lead with 1.20 to play in the third quarter, Brent Bonzak gets it in for a touchdown. <laughs> On to try the extra point. Number 12, Mike Lawler. He's missed one tonight. Now he needs to try to get this one up and in. There's the snap, the hole, the kick. And no good off to the left again. And the score remains 24 the Dragons, 21 the Vernon Lions. That hurts. Waller on to kick off. Back to receive the kick. Number 30, Butler. Number 14, Mike Lee. Number 40, Willie Cherry. Here's the kick. High kick. 
This one may go out of bounds. No, picked up by Lee at about the 12 yard line. Looking for some room. The Dragons are there and dropping at the 24 yard line. Hit by number 34, Todd McGrath. That ball probably would have gone out of bounds, but Lee fielded it, took it up the field, and he's dropped at the 24 yard line. First and 10 for the Vernon Lions. 115 to play in the third quarter. South Lake now leads by a score of 24 to 21 over the Vernon Lions. formation. Now there's a whistle now for the Vernon Lions. And the wing to the left is number 80. Make that 21. Back goes in low. Looking downfield. Throwing, throwing. And in and out of the hands of the Vernon receivers. Intended for number 11 Mark Allen or perhaps number 21. Let's make that 40. Really cherry but it's high and long and incomplete. So that'll set up second and 10 for the Vernon Lions. One oh nine to play in the third quarter, second and 10 for Vernon. Twin receivers to the left. Butler, the deep back. Back goes in low, looking downfield, looking downfield. Looking for some room, the Dragons have him. They wrapped him up. As in low, looking for some room, but the Dragons collapsed him back there for a big loss, and that'll set up third and long now for the Vernon Lions. Ball back inside the 20-yard line. As the Dragon defense now is coming on a little stronger here in the third quarter. Now the Dragons need to hold. 30 seconds to play in the third quarter. Wing right in motion, number 80, number 21, Benny Cherry. Back goes in low again, looking, looking downfield, throwing long, throwing long. Almost intercepted by Chad Baller, and he drops it at midfield at about the 45 yard line. That'll set up fourth down for the Vernon Lions. Baller standing at his 45-yard line. Johnson at midfield. Butler ready to punt. There's the snap. The Dragons come after it again. A good kick. It'll be taken by Johnson at the 47. Got some room out there. Got some room. Got some room. That's a 30. And he's inside the 30, the 25, down to the 21-yard line. First and 10 for the South Lake Carroll Dragons. Good field position on the punt return by Dane Johnson. Three seconds to play in the first in the third quarter. Dragons lead by a score of 24 to 21. They need to push in a touchdown right here. Break the wishbone. Wing right. Moreland in the slot to the right. Option play to the right. Keeper by number 20, Mantis. He's got room. He's in front of the five. Touchdown, Carroll. 21 yards. 21 yards of touchdown for the South Lake Carroll Dragons. No time left in the third quarter. The Dragons up by a score of 30 to 21 over the Vernon Lions. Number 12, Mike Lawler to try the extra point one more time. Bratcher the holder. Lawler on. He's had mind games. Can he get it up there and in? This one's up. And this one's good. The Dragons lead by 10. 31 Dragons. 21 Lions as we go to the fourth quarter. After the Mike Lawler extra point, he's on to kick off. Number 30, Dexter Butler back at the 11-yard line. Back there with him, number 14, Michael Lee, and number 40, Willie Cherry. There's the whistle. Lawler approaches it, kicks it high end over end. It'll be taken by Butler at about the nine. He'll have a head of steam looking for some room. 
on his feet and knocked down, but a good return up to about the 40-yard line, first and 10 for the Vernon line. Dragon crowd chanting for defense. Number 21, Benny Cherry, wide to the right. Flanker out there. Offset eye in motion, number 21, Cherry. Back goes in low to pass again. Looking long downfield, long downfield. But nobody can get to it. Cherry went one way, in low threw it the other. That'll set up second and 10 for the Vernon Lions. I see now that the Dragons have number 65, Bryce LeBlanc at one defensive tackle and number 73, Brandon Story at the other. Normally, Joseph Stanier is out there the defensive tackle spot. I don't see him anywhere. He may be on the sidelines. He may have been shaken up earlier. We don't see him down there. Nonetheless, Dragons are getting some rush now and it's second and 10 for the Vernon Lions. I offset eye in motion number 80, Cardenas. Back goes in low again, throwing long. This one intended for number 82, David Couch. And again incomplete, and that'll set up third and 10 for the Vernon line. Third and 10, clock stopped 11.41 to play here in the fourth quarter. Still a lot of football to be played. Third and ten. Cherry flanker to the right. Number eleven, Allen, wide to the left. Offset eye. In low to quarterback. Back he goes. To pass again. A little swing out to 40. He's got some room. The Dragons are going to let him get a first down. He may get more than that. He's down inside the 30. Craig Frost there. But Cherry gets a big play, and he's down inside the 15 to about the 11-yard line. The Dragons let him out on third and 10. Inside the Dragon, 11-yard line. Cherry wide to the right. Hand off to 30, no keeper. Now a toss to number 40. Got some room out there, and I think he's going to score for the Vernon Lions to Willie really Cherry. So just like that, the Vernon Lions come back and score. 11 7 to play in the game. Dragons 31, the Lions 27. that the Vernon Lions are going to go for two with 11.07 to play. Power eye formation. Hand off to 30 bucks. Noah Keeper by number 18 looking for some room and the Dragons are there and they stop him. So the Dragons still lead by four, 31 to 27 over the Vernon Lions. Kicking off, number 30, Dexter Butler. In the middle, number 23, Curtis Pinson. To the far side, number 10, Dane Johnson. To the near side, number 17, Brian Memphis. Dragons have switched around their return men. This one will be kicked straight away. It's a big kick, and it'll go into the end zone. Dragons will bring this one out to the 20-yard line. So Butler... And off to number 38, Bonzac, still on his feet. Comes over left guard and picks up good yardage. Knocked down by number 21, Benny Cherry. But the Dragons now are starting to move the football. 
Gain of nine yards for the Dragons, second and one. Ball out to the 29-yard line. Two tight ends, wishbone set. Hand off to number 38, he's out there. He's got some room, he's up over the 40 to the 42-yard line. Big gain over left guard for Brent Bonzac. Looked like the Vernon Lions were offside, but no call. But nonetheless, Bonzac takes it over left guard and gets big yardage in a first and 10 for the Carroll Dragons. Clock running, 10-19 to play in the game. The Dragons would love to push this thing down for a touchdown. Two tight ends, wishbone set. And off to Bonzac again. Stacked up, hit by number 72, Andre Wilson. A gain of perhaps two yards on the play. The Dragons go to the same side to the left. Wilson knifes through and catch it, captures him around the ankles. Gain of, gain of two, second and eight for Carroll. Let's make it a gain of one, second and nine. Short nine. Split the wishbone on second and long. Double wing formation. Byerly the ace back. Back goes Mantooth. Rolling, rolling, looking downfield. He's going to run his Mantooth. Knocked off his feet by number 56 for the Vernon Lions. That would be Josh Drennan, the left defensive end. A gain of perhaps two yards on the play. And that'll set up third down for the Dragons. Clock running. 9-13, third and long, third and a long six now for a pair. The ball just up over their 45-yard line. The Dragons would love to get a first down. Wing left in motion number 10, Dane Johnson back to the right. Back goes Mantooth to pass. Throwing, throwing, and intercepted by 21, Benny Johnson. He's on his way, and the Dragons stop him at the 29-yard line, but the Vernon Lions have excellent field position on the pass interception by number 21, Benny Cherry. 8.49 to play in the game, but Vernon has good field position inside the 30 at the 29-yard line. The Dragon defense is going to have to try to hold. number 30, Dexter Butler looking for some room. The Dragons back him up after a gain of about three on the play. And on the tackle, number 41, Jeff Troy, and number 32, Kyle Smith. Gain of three, make it second and seven. Clock running, 8.25 to play in the game. Ball at the Dragon, 26-yard line. Mark Allen wide to the left. Francisco Cardenas, a flanker to the right. Offset eye. Option play to the right. Keeper by number 18, looking for some room. Still on his feet. He's inside the 10 to about the five-yard line on the quarterback keeper. It'll be first and goal for the Vernon Lions. 8.03 to play in the game. for the Vernon Lions. First and goal, clock running, 7.50 to play in the game. Power eye formation now for the Vernon Lions. Trying to retake the lead. Cost number 30, Butler, he's there at the goal line. The Dragons stack him up just short of the goal line. A toss to Butler. He turns it up, gets about four yards. It'll be second and goal from a, just outside the one yard line. Clock 
clock running. Running to the line of scrimmage. Power eye formation. And off to Butler, he tries, but he's not there. It'll be third and goal. The ball will be just inches away from a touchdown. So that'll set up third and goal. In comes some more beef for the Vernon Lions. On third and goal, ball just inches away from the touchdown. And off to Butler, and I think he's in there for the touchdown over right guard. So Vernon retakes the lead with 6.09 to play. They're up by a score of 33 to 31. Over the South Lake Carroll Dragons. They made the interception, got the ball at the Dragon 29 yard line, and take it in on running plays 29 yards to retake the lead 33 31, 609 to play. On to try the extra point, number 54, Dietrich Morris, holder, number 12, TJ Smith. There's the snap, a fumble, fumble, fumble. The Dragons are out there. They're going to throw it, and it's knocked out of the hands. The Dragons stop the extra point attempt. The lead by the Vernon Lions is 2-33-31. to 31. 6.09 to play. After the Vernon touchdown, on to kick off number 30, Dexter Butler. Back for the Dragons. Number 23, Curtis Pinson. Number 10, Dane Johnson. Number 17, Brian Nymphius. This will be taken by Johnson at about the 12, coming to his left side. Got some room. He's at the 30. He's at the 40 and knocked out by number 14, Michael Lee. What a nice return by Dane Johnson up to about the 41 yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Carroll Dragons. But this Vernon defense has been tough. Break the wishbone on first and 10 in motion number 38. Brent Bonzac back to pass his man to. Throwing long. Johnson is wide open. And he makes the catch at the 41-yard line of the Vernon Lions. First and 10 for Carroll. First and 10 for Carroll. Nice pass by Mantooth. Had he led him, he could have scored, but the ball was short. Uh, Johnson had to pull up and make the catch. First and 10. Wishbone set. Two tight ends. The Dragons are ready to run it again. Hand off to number 38, Brent Bonzac, as he tries the left side. He's upended after a gain of maybe two yards. Bonzac tripped up after a short gain. Bratcher wide to the left. Johnson in a slot to the left. In motion number 17, Brian Memphis. Back goes Mantu. Looking downfield, throwing and complete for number 10, Johnson, and he's going to score for the Dragons. So Carroll gets it in with 508 to play in the game. The Dragons retake the lead 37 to 33 over the Burning Lions and a nice pass. Real man to. And the Dragons will go for two, I'm sure, with 508 to play. Dragons are going to go for two and put it over on the left hash. are huddled up at about the eight yard line. The problem is, is that the Dragons may have scored too fast, but nonetheless, they have the lead and that's better than being behind with 5.08 to play in the game. Dragons will go for two. Bratcher and Holyfield to the right. Johnson in a wing to the right. Back goes Mantu. 
Johnson is open. He'll score two points for the Dragons. So Carroll gets a six-point lead with 5.08 to play. South Lake 39, the Vernon Lions 33. Number 12, Mike Lawler, back to receive the kick. Once again, number 30, Dexter Butler. Number 40, Willie Cherry. Number 14, Michael Lee. The Dragons need to try to get this thing away from Butler. There, it's going to be a squib kick, and it'll bounce up and be taken by Lee at about the 24-yard line, looking for some room, trying to get to the outside, and May turns the corner. It's going to be another good return by the Vernon Lions as they get it up to about midfield. I can't believe that. So at 4.58, Barnum will have good field position. Yes, Pro right, offset eye formation once again for the Vernon Lions. Piss in low to quarterback. Back goes in low, looking downfield, throws, throws, oh, and complete to number 14, I think. Number 11, Mark Allen. He's down in. Allen wide to the left. In motion, toss to number 30, Butler, looking for some room. The Dragons are there. They have him, but still don't get him down. Still on his feet. Taken down by number 86. Jeff Edgington, but Butler is wrapped up again. Offset on, wing right. Allen wide to the left, in motion number 21, Benny Cherry, hand off to Butler. He's inside the 10 to about the eight yard line. Heading out for Vernon, clock running, 325 to play in the game. Dragons need to try to hold. Toss to number 30, Butler once again got some room. The Dragons are there. The fumble, fumble, and I think hey. Wishbone set. Two tight ends. Hand off to number 10, Dane Johnson. Still on his feet. Gets up over the 10 to about the 11 yard line. Seven. Can the Dragons pick up a first down? Wishbone set. Option play keeper by Mantu. He pushes up over the 15 line. Taking the trunk. Are you out of tape or out of power? I'm out of tape. Did we? For South Lake first down. The clock is running, 2.07, Carroll has the football. The object here is to run out this clock, if they can do it. Wishbone set, toss to number 10, Dane Johnson. He's pushed down at the 15-yard line. He used, loses some yardage, but the clock is running with 1.45 to play. Now Vernon calls a timeout. This should be their final turnout. Here's the situation. Johnson was dropped for a three-yard loss on first down. The ball now back at about the 15, 16-yard line at second and 13. Vernon used their last timeout. 148 to play in the game. Break the wishbone on second and long. Cost number 10. Johnson got a little room by one up over the 20, up to the 21-yard line. The clock continues to run. A gain of about five for Dane Johnson, but it'll set up third and about nine for the Dragons. But the clock is running. There's the whistle. A minute 22 to play in the game. Carroll leads. The Dragons are letting the clock run down. They may go ahead and take a penalty, but that means they'll have to punt deep from their own end of the field. They're going to have to hurry. Four seconds, three. There's the snap. Option play. Keeper by Mantooth. He tries to get up over the 22 to about the 23-yard line. Clock still running. 52 seconds to play, but it'll be fourth down in about five. Now they're, now they're trying to say that there's a player down for Vernon. 
to stop the clock. That's bullshit. Stops the clock with 49 seconds to play. One of the Vernon players is down on the field, shaken up. We'll take a timeout with 49 seconds to play. The Dragons lead 39 to 33 over the Vernon Lions. They're gonna go for the block. 41 seconds to play. Clock running now with 38 seconds. The Dragons will probably take a penalty and let the clock run on down. They'll just take a five yard penalty. And there's the whistle. Five yards will be assessed against Carroll. Move the ball back inside the 20, but there's only 21 seconds to play. Here's the situation. I suspect it'll be fourth down and about 10. The ball will be back inside the 16. I believe that the Dragons will snap it to the punter. He's going to run around in the end zone, and he's going to take a safety. That will probably be what the Carroll Dragons will try to do here with 21 seconds to play. That would be the definite idea if Sargent can just take the snap, retreat into the end zone, and run around and let some clock run off this, excuse me, let some time run off this clock. 21 seconds to play. Dragons call timeout. They gonna take safety? 21 seconds to play. Carroll has to punt, but I have a feeling they may put this in the end zone for a safety. There's the snap. Sergeant is back there. He's just gonna run out of the back of the end zone. That'll give the Lions two points, but there's 18 seconds left and the ball will come out to the 20 yard line for a free kick. Dragons 39, Lions 35, 18 seconds to play. Here's the situation. It seems like we've been in this fourth quarter for about a century now. We've got 18 seconds left. The Dragons lead by a score of 39 to 35 after giving up the safety. The Dragons have a free kick from the 29 yard line. Excuse me, the 20 yard line. Mike Lawler will be kicking it away. Butler and Cherry are back deep. Here's the kick. It's a nice high kick. It'll be taken by Lee at about the 27 yard line and he's gonna have to run out of bounds. Ball up to the 38 yard line. 15 seconds to play in the game. Vernon has a shot at the end zone. <laughs> Vernon is 42 yards away from the Dragon end zone. 15 seconds to play. Vernon has no timeout. Dragon defense needs to get it done here. Wing right, offset eye formation, in low the quarterback. Back goes in low, looking for some room, looking for some room, throws downfield. Oh. And in and out of the hands of number 30, Dexter Butler. Incomplete, eight seconds to play in the game. Right to play another pass coming up no timeouts for the Vernon Lions that was too close for comfort <laughs> Allen wide to the left Benny Cherry wide to the right in motion number 40 Toss to number 30. Here's a pass back to number 18, Chris Enlow, looking for some room. No place to go, still on his feet. The Dragons are close, and the Dragons finally get him down. The clock runs out. The Dragons win. The Dragons win 39 to 33. What a football game. The Dragons win it 39 to 
35 over the Vernon Lion. South Lake Carroll is going wild. What a football game. Carroll has done it. The Dragons come up with 21 points in the second half and pull it out by a score of 39 to 35 over the Vernon Lions. The Dragons move on and this truly was a state championship game, number one versus number two. What a hard fought football game, but the Dragons move on to play again and indeed, the state championship may go through Southlake in 1992.